Hi, today we're going to be looking at another type of um, um, sorting algorithm called the insertion sort. So uh, let me go ahead and type it out and I'll explain exactly what's happening, okay? Okay. So let's actually one more thing here. Let's return on sort of right here. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've done here. Um, so this is the whole insertion algorithm. And at first it might look a little intimidating, but it's relatively simple. So we've created a function called insertion sort. And we've, um, it, the, uh, this function takes in one parameter. Again, we're using in out so that we could uh, change the parameter, uh, ch change the um, uh, integer array so that it becomes mutable. So the one parameter is an array, so we're going to give it any array that's unsorted, and it's going to spit out um, an array. Uh, so it returns an array. Okay, so that's pretty clear, and that's what we're doing. So we're taking an unsorted array, and we're spitting out the unsorted array. Obviously, by then, it'll become sorted. So that's not the hard part. This is where the magic happens in these 10 lines of code. So this is a if statement nested inside a a loop, a for loop nested inside a for loop. So let's go ahead and run through it. So this is the outer loop, and here we're running through obviously the loop index from one all the way to unsorted array dot count. Unsorted array dot count is the count of this array, for example. Um, however, we're not going all the way to the count. We're going one less. Um, so we're starting from. So in this case, we're going from element one, which is the twelve all the way to element 16. So the count minus one. Okay, great. So what's happening inside this outer loop? So we actually have another loop inside this outer loop. And here what we're doing is we're creating another loop. I called uh, another loop index, calling it index two. And uh, this loop essentially goes through one to index. Remember index is this thing right here, right? So whatever, um, whatever it's at, it'll go from here. But instead of going from one to that, we're going to reverse it so that we work from right to uh, to left. So we're going to run backwards from the current index, which is this, all the way left. So we could shift it as left as pos uh, as left as uh, as as we need to uh, when we're inserting um, the number. And essentially, um, inside this for loop, we've got a simple comparison if statement, right? So if unsorted array index two, right? is smaller than index two minus one, which is the element left to it, then go ahead and swap index two and uh, index two minus one. Otherwise, break the if statement and repeat the cycle again. So let's run through it and see what happens. So here for the first index, it's uh, we're going through 12, obviously. The reason we don't start at zero is because the first element is always sorted, right? There's only one element. So we draw a line here. So 12. So we look at 12 and we go through it. So this is one and this is one. So we look at 12, well, is 12 um, less than um, five, right? So it's index two minus one, right? So we always look at the left. Well, no, it's not. So this is sorted. Okay, so we go ahead and repeat this cycle again. Is 78 less than, so by this time, we know that the first two elements are sorted, five and 12 are sorted. So we go to the third element, is 78 um, right here, is 78 smaller than 12. No, it's not. So by now we know that this whole thing is sorted 5, 12, 78. So we've got a sorted array already, actually, sort of a bad example on my end. But the next element that we go through is 11. And when we get here, we go, okay, so index uh, two, uh, is it less than index um, two minus one? Well, two minus one would be the element to its left is 11 smaller than 78, you bet. So what do we do? We swap it. So we take the 11, we spot with the 78, and we do that again, okay? Is 11 smaller than, we do this loop again. Is 11 smaller than 12? Yes, it is. So we swap it again. We do that again. Is 11 smaller than five? No, it's not. So we break and we repeat all over. So by that, by, by the fourth time, it should read five, 11, 12, 78, all right? and then 78, 33, 18, and so on. So we look at 33, is it smaller than 78? Yes, it moves there, we swap it. Is it smaller than 12? No, it's not, it breaks, and the cycle goes on and on and on.
So let's see if this works, okay? Let's go ahead and call up the function. Let me just make this a bit bigger so you guys can see. Let's go ahead and call the function. So it's called insertion sort, and it's right here, and it accepts an array, and we're gonna give it array one. That's my array up there. And let's see if it works. And it should work. It's running, there we go. So here we are. So it takes this array and it sorts it perfectly in order. And we've done this 53 times. Anyways, that's insertion um, sort uh, using Swift uh, real quick. And I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thanks.